Today I want to talk XOTV. If you haven't heard of XOTV yet, it's a relatively new video sharing platform based out of San Jose, California. I'm just here at Duncan Yard, which is seemingly a ghost town. It's just sad to see how certain places in Pretoria that used to be real attractions are going backwards. A couple of months ago, I was contacted by XOTV to start uploading on their platform, which is a video sharing app platform where you can blog, where you can uh, do private and public videos, everything on the same channel, which is super awesome to me. Back then I hesitated because I was literally just getting started on YouTube and literally just starting to get momentum on YouTube. Long story short, the, we agreed and the guys are really helping me a lot. I started uploading videos on XOTV a couple of weeks ago. The interesting thing is I'm getting so much more views on XOTV than I am on YouTube, which doesn't say anything bad about YouTube. It just emphasizes the advantage you have when you start playing on a new and young platform. You know what I really, really suck at? I suck at switching to the correct frame rates for the correct thing. Sometimes I think I'm shooting in 60 frames per second, then I'm shooting in 24, and uh, vice versa. It just happened again. My entire vlog today was shot in 60 frames per second. You know one of those days where you don't get to anything that you planned on doing? This has been one of them. It's almost 6 p.m. and I'm on my way to Yochi's house. We have to record the September episodes of Music Matters, our podcast. I had to be there at 5 and it's already, like I said, almost 6. She's really an artist that I feel will like a lot of the other artists that that has passed away recently legendary artists in the industry their music will, will live on way past uh, their, their passing I just left Yochi's house, it's 11 p.m. Just finished recording the episodes for September for Music Matters SA. It's gonna be very, very interesting bunch of episodes. Talking about XOTV and me uploading there, I really see a lot more activity happening on that platform. The reason why I decided to do this was actually to see where I would be uploading in the future. This is also the reasoning behind my Facebook versus YouTube experiment. And just to mention what's happening there, I've only uploaded two videos on both on YouTube and on Facebook and I'm getting more views on Facebook but what's happening on Facebook is Facebook video is literally compressing the quality of the video. Something that I dislike because I feel that with doing a daily vlog I'm already compromising the quality of the video. What the team at XOTV is, is doing in, in making this possible for me to upload there is just miles ahead of any of the other platforms. And that's also another advantage of uploading and being part of the community in, on a smaller platform. From the 10 odd videos that I've posted on XOTV, I've got received over a thousand views, which 
is still at an average of between 110 and 120 views per video. I really appreciate all the support. I thank you for watching. I thank you for the comments that's coming through, the engagement that's happening. I'm really excited about this journey and literally one of the highlights of my day is actually planning and shooting and editing my daily vlog. And I really hope that it means something to you and it, that it inspires you. And uh, I really just want to ask you guys to to like my videos. If you like it, don't. If you don't, don't. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And uh, you know, check me out on XOTV. Check me out on YouTube. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of New Lights. Cheers.